Yes, good evening, good morning, our viewers, wherever you may be. Thank you much, so much for subscribing, for following us. Today we are coming with some other uh, dental tip, and it is a, a short one about the first aid you can give to a knocked out tooth in a dental language we call it aversion or an aversed tooth some time ago one of the politicians had a, had a bodyguard so people attacked them and they hit this bodyguard and the tooth was on the ground the people around seemed not to understand what can be done and this is the question can it be replanted? Is it a loss? Should this bodyguard or should anyone call it a loss when someone has knocked out your tooth? When what does it how does it happen? You can be playing football and your tooth is knocked out. It can be a road traffic accident. You can be in a taxi or a matatu moving and you knock your, your, your front teeth are uh, in a metal in the, in, in the uh, chair in front or the metal in front your tooth gets aversed or it, it is knocked out you can be innocent and a, a fight rises from uh, anywhere and you lose the tooth so what can you do? can it be replanted? the answer is yes it can be replanted but it has to be a permanent tooth and we must confirm that the apex or the whole tooth is, is, uh, has been developed up to the root. You know when you, dev- you, you erupt teeth or when teeth appear in the mouth, it takes three years. It takes three years for the root or the tip or what you call the apex of a tooth down to close. So when we are to implant this tooth, you must confirm when you remove it that this apex is completely closed. Because if at all when it is not closed, you shall feel something like soft, some some soft thing under showing it is not closed. So it has to be permanent and has to be closed. If you can uh, easily predict, maybe if a child is around seven years and he has dropped this tooth, maybe in the when he's when the tooth has been knocked out at ten years, you can think this tooth has been what is already fully grown. But for us in the hospital, you have to confirm by looking at it, or you take an X-ray to confirm that the tooth has really what completely dropped the apex or it has completely closed. So what do we do? We can replant it. The answer is yes. But before we say yes, there are some things which we need. And what do we do? We must store it as we are taking to a dentist. If you feel, if you can manage to push it back, you can push it back. But of course, you must remember, you must push it back when it is clean. And also, you must put it back in time, and these are the things I've come to talk about. When you are giving first aid, there's what we call a rule, a golden hour. You must perform the first aid in the shortest time so that you can save life. So we are saving life of this tooth. We are implanting it, so we must do it in the shortest time possible. First of all, as you are moving from where you are going to a dentist, I'm assuming that not all of us can be dentists. Suppose it is you, you are rushing to see your dentist. Suppose it is you who who is rushing to to a nearby hospital with your tooth which you have picked from down. Of course, you must make sure it must be kept or it must be stored in an environment where it is not going to be spoiled. Because outside the root, of a tooth 
they are cells and we are preserving those cells not from dying so you must make sure you just touch the tip if this is a, 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 a tooth you must just touch the tip the tip uh, the, the crown or the top part of the tooth don't touch the apex the tip of what of the tooth just touch the top don't touch the what the tip because here under in the in the, in the part of this tooth the way are preserving it we don't want the cells to die or these parts to die which are there so keep it in in an environment which they're not going to do what to get spoiled which one is this the best one the best one which is documented in our books which we prefer which can even keep this this tooth for a long time we call it hunks balance salt solution hunks balance salt solution it can it is the best but as you know first aid is what you need to do anytime it can happen so which ones are the most available solutions number one is milk milk just usual milk of course not hot cold milk you put it there and you rush to your dentist another one is saliva you can put it in saliva and you rush to what to your dentist of course i told you in the golden hour in the first hour you need to rush and find your dentist another one can be normal saline or the normal water normal saline normal saline is is also very good we also have the best one which i'm sure everyone can do this is the vestibule now the vestibule is the is the, in the in, in our mouth between the cheek and the teeth in that area there this area has saliva it is the best place you can do what you can take it you can transport your tooth was of course once you take it to your dentist is going to put it back and do what you call sprinting and you shall of course shall not forget afterwards to do root canal for anyone who has got an accident even if the tooth has not been avulsed make sure don't stop at taking painkillers the tooth is going to change color you need to go and they do root canal treatment even if you see the tooth is not shaking it is a farm you need to confirm because usually once he has got a problem you may need to do canal always at a later time it will change color when the, the inside blood vessel has what has got destroyed or has rotted so we are saying it is true we can re-implant the knocked out tooth when it is what it is a permanent one and when the root is not broken and when the root is fully what closed if at all you find out the root is broken don't bother going to a dentist you can go there for other reasons but not for what for implanting the tooth secondly do not touch the crown of a tooth or the top part of a tooth thirdly manage time do it in the first one hour in case of any topics that you need us to talk about comment in the section we shall give you these tips thank you so much for watching